Welcome to physics class. Today we are going to talk about electric field due to a ring of charge. We have a thin ring of radius r holds a total charge q and this uh, charge is positive. We call it plus q. The distribution is uniform. The objective is to find the electric field at point M from an axis that passes from the center of the ring. I call it X. Now, in order to find the electric field, we will take an element of charge dQ. This is uh, an element of charge dQ by definition is the lambda dl the element of charge will be the density times the element of length why we choose lambda we call it linear density because the ring is thin and then if we cut this ring and we stretch it we'll find just line and this is what we call it linear density so uh, the lambda is the total charge over total length or the element of charge over element of length because the density is uniform lambda means lambda is constant so uh, we have dq it will be just lambda dl now the definition of electric field de it will be dq times Coulomb constant divided by r squared. So the direction of this element of electric field, in this case, if the charge is positive, the electric field will be going away from the charge. If the charge it was negative, the electric field will be going toward the charge. If it was negative, the, char the electric field will be toward the charge. Now we have it positive. It will be going away from the charge. So uh, let me clean this. Bring it back. Positive charge. So uh, an x-axis we take off. Just put x here. So we say the de. The definition of this element of electric field will be k dq over r squared. r is the distance from the charge dq. Here is dq. What is this dl? We have this dq. So uh, r is the distance from dq towards the point m. Now, this electric field will be only on x-axis. So the projection of this dA on x-axis will be dx, and I call this angle theta, because this angle and this one are identical. So our electric field will be dx, which is just dA cosine of theta. Why? Because if I go in opposite direction of this element of charge here, I take another element d dq, it will have another electric field, let's clean this, have some space, it will have another electric field, de, this de will have horizontal, dx, and vertical, dey, so this electric field on the read that were produced, that is produced by dq, it will have also this de, that will have this horizontal, vertical and horizontal component, dx. So what do you see here? The vertical component of electric field produced by these two parts, uh, the vertical component produced by these two parts vanishes, they cancel each other. So all we have is the, the horizontal component. This is why I put just dex it will be just de cosine theta. So let's clean this. So we know our electric field will be just on x-axis. 
the definition of uh, DE to be KDQ over R squared. And also, this is DQ, let's put it here. We said also DQ is lambda, DQ is lambda DL. And our electric field will be K lambda DL over R squared. Now, we need to know DL, what is it? DL is the arc length, this uh, element of length. Now, if I make, uh, if I put it here, what do you see? This is the arc length, DL. And this is the radius of the circle. And if I call this, angle is element of angle, this, it will be D alpha. The definition of arc length of circle, you be just R D alpha. Now if I go back here and I replace DL with R D alpha and then I, I bring my electric field D DX we say this D equals sine theta it will be also K lambda R D alpha over R squared. Now we are going to look for the total electric field, not just for element of electric field. Now the total electric field produced by this ring on X axis will be just the sum of all element dx that we have on this ring. So, and this is will be just k lambda integral of k lambda r d alpha cosine theta over r squared. Now, r we said is the distance from the element of the charge towards the point m. x is the distance from the center, uh, is the distance on the x axis that is from the center to point m. And if we use Pythagorean theorem, r will be just uh, or r, r squared, you'll be just r squared plus x squared. Also cosine of theta. Remember, this is the theta we were talking about. And this theta is identical to this theta. And this cosine of theta will be just x over r, uh, which is the adjacent of our hypotenuse. x is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is r in this case, is square root of r squared plus x squared. Now we go here back. Our electric field EX is k lambda r outside. And we see here also this r is constant. Why? Because x is the distance from the center towards the point m is fixed. And r is the radius of this circle is fixed then the, this r is fixed also. So we, we can take it out from the integral. Then what will be here? It will be r squared plus x squared power 3 over 2. Then the integral of d alpha between, now this alpha is the, d alpha we said is the r, is the angle of this r length and varies from 0 to 2 pi. So it will be between 0 and 2 pi. Now again, this EX will be k lambda RX 2 pi divided by R squared plus X squared power 3 over 2. Now we can also replace Q. Q, which is 2 pi r lambda. Remember, the, the charge is the length times the density. The total length of the circle is the circumference, which is 2 pi r, and the density is lambda. So I replace r, 2 pi, and lambda with q. So what I will see here, Coulomb constant, also we can replace it, which is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0. K is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 times the charge Q times X divided by R squared plus X squared 
power 3 over 2. This is what will be the electric field produced by <clears throat> the charged ring on the x-axis. Thank you. Thank you.